What is going on guys, Peter Bread here and welcome back to another video. This is a tutorial to be exact. I've been getting many requests on how I, you know, get my Sims 2 custom content and what I have to do. And it's pretty simple. I mean, once you do it, you're probably never going to forget. Um, so the last video I've done, I've actually done a tutorial before back in 2012 and the website that I showed was um, shut down. And so I, that urged me to do another video up to date with a bunch of you know other websites that you can use all right so uh, the first thing you'll actually need before you venture out into all these uh, custom content websites is you need something called WinRAR and WinRAR is basically an extraction program where once you download custom content you can open it up and take out all the stuff and put it in your folder and then you'll have it in your game so WinRAR is a must and it's basically free all of this stuff is free there's no viruses do not worry don't worry um, but yeah I'll put all the links in the description all the websites that I'll show you guys today will be in the description so you don't have to go type it in yourself but yeah get WinRAR once you install it correctly you will know you will actually know when you install it correctly so let's get out of that all right so the first website that I normally go to is the Sims resource I know there's a lot of other websites that I probably don't know about that are actually better but these are just my top three just for now that I go to for content so right now we're in the Sims resource and um, you know just go to downloads and whatever Sims game you want uh, we're in particularly in Sims 2 and to actually get to the hairstyles for Sims 2 of this website um, you actually have to Google it. You have to do the Sims resource, Sims 2 hairstyles, and it'll take you to that, and then you can filter it um, between male or female or something like that. So, yeah, this specific link will be in the description as well for you guys. All right, so let's see how do we how do we download stuff? That you may ask. All right, so you pick out a hairstyle. As you can see, there's individual colors and stuff. But what you want to do, if you actually stumble upon like an individual hairstyle like this, for example, usually at the bottom of the picture, it usually will say, this creation belongs to a set. So you want to go to the set. It, that will make your life a lot easier instead of just downloading the individual crap. So it will take you to the set. And this basically has everything you need. So once you're content with the hairstyle you want, you go ahead and click download. And I will show you guys exactly how I do this. What are these advertisements? I have no idea. Okay, so once you, it'll say thank you for downloading, a little file down here will appear, and you will know when you install WinRAR correctly is when you have these little books, the stack of books right next to the file name. So once you have that, you open that up, you click on it, and this thing will pop up all the time. It's very annoying, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal actually. So you'll have all these package files for you ready. So you basically go ahead and highlight all of them, hold down your mouse, and you drag it up and you'll highlight all these files and then um, you'll actually have to open up another folder so wherever your um, sims game is located usually it's in your documents and EA games up at the top as you can see there okay this is also another important thing if you have the sims 2 double deluxe which is basically the base game that has um, other expansions along with it you go to double deluxe but if you don't have double deluxe if you don't have that folder you're just gonna simply go the sims go to the sims 2 and then yeah that's that's basically it so once you're in double deluxe or in the sims 2 you actually won't have a downloads folder you're gonna have to create one yourself so um you just click on the empty white space here and then you click new and then folder and then once you have that folder you're gonna name it exactly how it appears here with especially the uh capital d mm -hmm, big d and then with a lower with the lowercase s at the end downloads that's the most important thing because if you don't have it like this it's probably not going to work so then you go to that downloads folder as you can see i have a lot of content oh my god so much stuff so big okay so you're going to go back to the um window that you actually opened that you downloaded a file from and then once you have that highlighted you're going to go and drag all of this you're going to go down here to your downloads folder and then Put your mouse right into this folder and just let go and it will um, put those hairstyles in for you so you're basically done now that's that's basically how you do it and this method applies for any other websites that you can download content from it's pretty pretty simple you just do the same steps so we're going to go to mod the sims downloads 
actually yeah modthesims.info this is the next website that I have to introduce don't do modthesims.com that's a completely different website it's .info and um, it's actually best if you make an account for this because you'll get more features I think I think you'll actually be able to download stuff I don't know but um, once you go here you're gonna click download the top you go to sims 2 find whatever you want this is where I get all of my mods this is where I get my pregnancy mod where the baby comes out after 24 hours in the sim game and then I got my god mod here too uh, in my computer the custom computer no apartment noises ooh that's a pretty good one major career linkage mod wow but basically you just click on something and then usually it's in the files you click the files and then you just yeah unzip all of those make sure to follow the instructions if it has any specific on here um, the next website that I want to introduce is Liana Sims and LianaSims2.net this is where I get my clothing yeah it has women women's clothing teens children's elder and men's clothing too um, there's casual and whatnot. This is where I also get my other accessories as well. Let's go to women's clothing. Let's do casual. Let's see if we can get something new here. Oh, let's get this one. This one doesn't look too bad. So we're going to click download. And then, of course, the file is going to appear down there. Of course, this thing pops up. And then you click on the file. There's only one in here specifically. You hold on to it, drag it, and go down to your downloads folder. Make sure you have it all open, by the way. And then you just drop it in your downloads folder. Simple. Done. I think that's basically it. That's it for the tutorial. If you guys found this helpful at all, leave a like. Um, if you have any other specific requests, do tell. I'll try to get to it if I can.